Good morning, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brand new day, a brand new week, and may the grace of the Lord be with you this week. We are going to do a series on the fruit of the Spirit, according to Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. And here we can see the intention of the great gardener as he sowed the seed of the Holy Spirit to our souls. The result will be supernaturally the fruit of the Spirit. But even more if we have a relationship with this great gardener. Because his objective at the end of the day is that all of us as his followers will produce the fruit of the Spirit as been explained to us by the Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 5. And I read from the New Living Translation which says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This morning as we are dealing with the verse, first one on the list, which is love, I'm not surprised that love is first on the list because God is love. It's love that conquer the world. It's love that conquer uh, this unity or division. It's love that brings life to us. It's love that brings us hope. It's love that actually gives us something to live for when a person says, I love you. It means he cares for us. This morning, if we say God is love, then we will made to reflect his love. And this, that's why Jesus said that the greatest commandment are to love the Lord with all your heart, with your mind and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus called me and you into a sacrificial love that extends to everyone, even strangers and enemies. Consider what it means to say, in Christ, I am filled with love. And I need to share that love. I need to action that love through my ways. If I go around with people and communicate, they should experience love. I love that song that we used to sing in Sunday school. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's you and it's me that makes the world go round. And this week, I invite us to accept and to work towards pleasing God alone in sharing His love with the rest of the world. Let us create a stronger character and a good reputation as a child of God. And by doing this, we will demonstrate that the love and grace of God are at work in our lives. Let us pray together. Father God, May your love grow in me so that people may see you shine through me. Give me the ability to love others, friend and enemy. And may your Holy Spirit fuel love within me so that I can shine your glory. Amen.